Did you know penguins have projectile poop? Cool. Your mom must be a penguin. Hey, we'll go back. Just- Twitter, stupid Rick, subs Corbin. I'm Rick. You can follow us on Instagram, Twitter for more juicy content. Thanks so much for following us. Hit the comment, subscribe, the like button. Oh, I'm ready for spring, man. I'm so ready for spring. I will, can't up. wait for spring. Shut up. Today we got a uh, a, uh, a, uh, a thing. And congrats to the RRR team, obviously on the winner of the Golden Globe for Natu Natu. Yep. Obviously, but also just won the Critics' Choice for Best Foreign Film. Yep. Uh, which is a big deal. That is one of the steps, uh, which is why we still believe it should have been the nomination for Best Foreign Film because it would have won that category at the Oscars and India would have had it would have uns- would would have without question been nominated. Yes, uh, Not, and, without question. And we are still. It was a gimme, and we are still, and that's why we wanted it. And we are still rooting for the last film show. In case you it's guys a don't wonderful know. movie, fantastic film. It would any be deserving year, of a nomination. It would have been. Uh, we wouldn't have had any issues, but the fact that you had a shoe in. Uh, literally, uh, for the Oscars. But anyways, uh, so they're all here. They're on their full Oscar campaign right now. And Ram Charan and Junior NTR did a interview with Variety, which is a big deal. Variety's huge. Uh, big deal here. It is the premier, Hollywood Reporter would argue, but <clears throat> it's the oldest and most premier industry resource in Hollywood. But the... Variety. Um, they're they're in full force in campaign mode right now, which they should be because there's actually a lot of buzz right now that not only obviously not to not to that's getting nominated, but picture is actually in contention. There's yes. a, there's a, there's a I, I was listening to some podcast that talked about it. There's some people that on on Twitter that vote for the Oscars and said I voted and I know many people have voted for it for picture. It's such a conversation reality. That if it's not nominated for Best Picture, there will be articles in Variety and The Hollywood Reporter when they talk about snubs. snubs. They will include RRR as one of the snubs. Yeah. It's still a long shot. Long shot. Not for song, but for picture. But it, the buzz is picking up, and it's a good time for the buzz to pick up and, and right I'm, now. And I am so hoping, so hoping, so hoping that along with what they're doing right now is they've got a rehearsal studio already working and ready, getting the number for when they do it at the yeah, Oscars. Because yeah, 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 yeah. if it's nominated, every song gets performed. Yes. And there will be nothing like it in the history of the Oscars. Yep. Nothing. Anyway, so this is an uh, interview with them. So let's just get into this. Enter the room, NTR Jr., Ram Charan from RRR. <laughs> Ram Charan. Great, Clayton. Great. Thank you. Thank you for having us. Oh, thank you for coming in on this rainy day. That just means that the gods are crying because you're in LA finally. Wow. We're so <laughs> excited that you're finally here. The rain's always <laughs> blessing us. Yeah. For sure. <laughs> How has this ride of RRR been for the both of you? It's been a global box office sensation. It is super popular here. It feels great. I mean, it's, it's, it's overwhelming. And you know, sometimes you think about it. LA has <clears throat> always been a spot of for holiday or 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 America as such was a place for holiday or you know meeting family you know but all of a sudden LA and America in general America in general has become a workplace now you know we've never imagined this would happen yeah you know, we come from the southernmost part of India the southern part of India and uh, here we are today very proud of being Indians, you know? Mm. Yeah, Clayton, I still can't believe I'm sitting in the studio in LA. And like you said, it was always a, a place of pleasure. And coming here for work is still digesting. I'm still, you know, getting around it. Uh, I think it's great. And it's, uh, as the world is becoming one, the cinema is also becoming one. And, uh, uh, you know, you guys have really been kind. And, uh, you know, you appreciated us. And it's really overwhelming to be here. Yeah, it's, it's easy to to be kind to movies that are great movies and this came exactly the insane mind <clears throat> ss roger Mooley. he i don't i would give anything to read the production notes on this <laughs> movie. someone thought it was too yeah. far or yeah not, or that we shouldn't do that part because it's so 
or the pitch, there, it right? So Storyboarding much. it or whatever. They filmed this in 2018. Started it. Started it in 2018. Yes. And then that's wow. that's amazing. 21. Just a couple of months before the release is when we did our last shot. <laughs> <laughs> so they had to deal with the pandemic. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We lost an eight months there. Like this wow. was technically supposed to be the fastest movie of SSR. <laughs> but, but he planned it. You know, he 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 planned for that. But <laughs> but didn't happen. Yes, we were hit by the pandemic. I mean, no no second thoughts about that. The whole world was. You know, the whole world was on a standstill. Yeah. So were we. We had to get off and 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 stop, shoot and halt and then move on again. But having said that, Raj Modi still took his sweet time. <laughs> and I like you know I would like to agree with you on one thing: the insane mm. mind of SSR. Yes, mm. he is insane. Let's <laughs> talk about Natu Natu. Uh, nominated for Golden Globe, shortlisted at the Academy Awards for Best Original Song. I and then it won the Globe. You told me recently, uh, SS Rajamouli only likes to do things that he feels everyone can do. <laughs> I watch Not Do Not Do, Rom. I don't think I can no. do a lot of it. I can do some of it. <laughs> yeah. Um, no. You did multiple takes for it. Having our unique style ourselves, each of us. And just to be in sync and have one style called SSR style. So that was the most difficult part. It's not the choreography that was very difficult or, you know, pulled us down or made our knees wobble. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, but it's just uh, getting into sync of uh, what Mr. Rajmali was trying to ask us from this. And today I understand, of course, it was the toughest song we did in terms of getting the synchronization. But today I can understand why. It is what it is. <clears throat> yeah, because everybody in, you know, including, I'm sure you would have tried it too, Craig. No, I, I, yeah, I would you, you would have. So yeah, you know, so, <laughs> yeah. so, so that's the idea I think Raj Molly had. You know, he <laughs> does not want to give, you know, give you these so super complicated steps. I mean, if you see what he's done in Magadhira and, or, or, or what I've done in yeah. my movies with Raj Molly before, he does not like to complicate his dance, mm -hmm. you know, especially in, in, in his movies, you know. It goes into the heart of the audiences only when you are willing or you have the chance to try it. Mm -hmm. You don't want to sit down here and say, oh my God, you know, I can never do that. No, you wouldn't want to give it a try. Yeah. And that's exactly what Rajmoli had in his mind. You know, when people are not willing to try or even capable enough to try doing it, why will it why would it be nominated into the into the Golden Globes today? Yeah. Or shortlisted them? Might be able to do it, but not with that kind I mean, of precision was, and no, speed. Definitely not. Yeah, as you said, the topic <coughs> was the synchronization. Yeah. It, it was not the step. That's because you're both really good I'm dancers. Talking about so. your characters in the film, Ram, you represent fire, you represent water, NTR. Was there ever a moment that you guys thought about what it would be like if you had swapped roles, if you had played the other one? Do you think that actually could have No, been just fun? the other day I was telling... Um, I think both our characters are very similar to us in real. And it, it came very natural when we were doing the scenes. Um, so I don't know, maybe I would love to try it just for the- Which Raj Mooli knew, to, obviously. To get into India's <laughs> nature and character and mind. <laughs> I would love to, why not? But I will tell you something for sure. I personally feel that, you know, with the friendship we've had over the past 20 years or 15 odd years, I think Charan's more of water hmm. because he he's he's, I would say he's he's an introvert for sure. A little bit of extrovert qualities here and there come in and go. But I feel that Charan's more water for me because, you know, when you look at the sea in general, you know, you really cannot estimate the depth. Maybe we're saying it wrong because he it's just said Charan. Us saying something wrong. What a shock. Yeah. I'll listen until you are Ram Charan, to, not Charan. To it. So for me, <clears> Charan, as a person in general, Ram Charan is, is, is very deep. You, you cannot estimate <laughs> what you're getting into unless and until you're willing or he's willing to invite you. So I would say that Charan's, Charan for me is water. It's like Sharon with a ch. Charan. I'm somebody, I'm an extra word. I would, I would, I would <laughs> definitely agree on that. I'm and uh, and Charan is somebody like, what you see is what you get. Yeah. There's nothing hidden. Uh, so he is all in or all out. <laughs> it's as simple as that. If you want to do it, you'll do it, and if, if you don't, then it's just not Yeah, thing. that's impossible to make him do, I think. <laughs> <laughs> I, I appreciate that. Looking at some of those other scenes, I'm thinking about the swap again. 
uh, there's one key <coughs> scene in which you are on the shoulders of NTR. How, yeah. <laughs> so how do you plan for that scene? And are you harnessed or are you actually holding the weight? There was of, a safety of, harness. Yeah. There was a safety harness. You know what? Again, sixty percent of it was still. Was still I was there, still there. setting on him. That was a tough sequence for him. That was tough. <laughs> But that's the reason I don't want to swap for the <laughs> so want to carry no, I'm happy with this. You do not want to carry me after I put on so much weight. No. <laughs> because I've 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 lost yeah. a bit of that muscle mass and I'm a little leaner than what I was back then. That was hell of a sequence. It really demanded. It was a hell of a and sequence. You know it's not easy to be on a safety harness for a very long time. You know, it's so uncomfortable. You know, if you look at it, I have I was carrying him, but he was doing all these weird stunts from up there. You know, he was bending harness, forward. Yeah. But yeah, uh, having said that, it is our not, race was is, almost going purple. Yeah. I bet after yeah. the so second day of holding the harness, that the harness easy. and leaning I forward mean, against it as it pulls. Yeah. The My shoulders is easy. No. So it was it was not easy on. For both of us, and it was that done. went on for 15 days. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> yeah. 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 Wow. You, you put on some mass. I mean, you guys both bulked up a yeah. lot for, for yeah. this yeah. for this role. What was your routine to get yourself uh, prepared? Simple, plain routine, Clayton. You know, this is what everybody. The, yeah. Uh, everybody. You know, everybody. It's just there's nothing special to it. It's the same thing. You know, you know, like, like how every actor prepares. But the only thing was challenging is we had to keep that shape. We had to retain that shape or muscle. For that long. For a very long time, for three years. Yeah. So that was difficult because when we were... That sounds we awful. Were halted by the Seriously. Pandemic, we still had to keep... It's one thing to do it for three months. Yeah. Yeah. That constantly... To, to, for continuity. Three years is a lot to... Wow. Work. That kind of a body. No pizza for I three did, years? I didn't even think about that. It's like your calorie intake during that time to put on the, the weight. Well, protein was out I'm Protein was out the wazoo. Right that's why I'm bulking up for, for this, right? That's what, that's what I'm going to use it. So, uh, Come no, train with us. I was put on about 3,000 calories a day. I was eating seven meals yeah. a day. It took me somewhere around a good 16 months to 17 to achieve that Dark is very particular in how he eats and the calorie count. I've seen him on sets. Mm -hmm. He would never eat. He would look at my food and just smell it, but he would never <laughs> touch for three years. He did that. And I'm somebody, I think I'm more uh, uh, organic in my approach. I cannot. It's too much for me. I need some good food, bad food every day. <laughs> part of my, I need my sweets every day. And I think it took <laughs> about seven to eight months uh, here and there. But the worst part was, uh, the most difficult part was to not eat and not have any of that, just to take a back seat during the pandemic. Yeah. The scene in which you two meet, yeah. swinging off bridges, wow. saving uh, little kids, uh, wrapping yourself in fire, <laughs> throwing flags. I mean, yeah. like, what, is that all green screen or? I wish the pendulum swinging was also in on green screen, but no, yeah. that, was, that was real. That was real. The flag was real. For 12 days, the, we both were suspended. Uh, Oh my God! Twelve days. Both, uh, both of us meeting, and then the under underwater sequence after that. The whole Can sequence. That was the third day of the shoot. Oh, when yeah. we started the in 2018, the first two days were was begins, very normal. Yeah. You know, I was I was driving the bike. He was sitting behind me, and the first it was just chill. The first two days, you know, we thought, wow, you know, it's nice. But that's <laughs> when it started. What's cooler, riding a motorcycle or riding a horse? I think I love horses. I love, I love and horses. I can't, <laughs> and I'm not very good on bikes. Yeah. And yeah, why is he worse? <laughs> <laughs> That's why they were on horses and bikes. I want to talk about the Tollywood of it all because this has been a great eye-opening experience for, for me myself. And I'm someone who loves <coughs> it, it's non English language. Can you talk about that impact for Tollywood and hopefully get to a place where it's not Bollywood, Tollywood, we're just Indian cinema. Heck yeah! And we're all just talking about cinema. I think we've already reached that stage, Clayton, now. Uh, well, I would I would say RRR was this 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 yeah, icing on cake, yeah. but uh, I think with Bahubali, <clears throat> somewhere Rajmali was this 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 director who could erase the imaginary lines of North North film industry or Southern film industry. You know, the Northern and the Southern, or the East or the West. We have different film industries. We have the Kannada, we have the Tamil, we have the Malayalam. We have the Telugu, we have the Hindi, we have the Bhojpuri, we have the Bengali. I mean, we are people who have the highest, um, you know, amount yeah. of film industries in one individual country. So with Bahubali, I think Rajmali could 
could erase those imaginary lines and made it one Indian big Indian film. Mm -hmm. I think RRR added to it. RRR yeah. made it one big Indian film industry today. You know, today globally, yes, globally. Yeah. You know, I think today we don't represent. You know, first we are Tiridites and then we are Indians, as I mentioned before. It's, it, it, it fills us with a lot of pride that we are Telugu people sitting down here and talking. But again, you know, today I think we are Indians as well. Mm -hmm. So, so it, it, it is a great breakthrough, you know, for, for us to sit down here and, and talk about work, share our culture, share our work patterns. You know, it, 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 it feels amazing. You know, it is it's really good. And, and it happened only because of, of one person's dream. SSR, yeah. SS Rani you know? And I think that's, it's, it's, it's a very clear example of when a master storyteller comes out with master stories. I think that's when everybody in the globe is ready to reach out, I mean, you know, to, 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 to accept it. I mean, we all knew the breakthrough was inevitable. It had to happen at some point. At some point yeah. And uh, it happened with Bahubali, uh, the whole of India and Asia knew who SSR was. And now the West is also enjoying his films yeah. as the world is becoming one, cinema is becoming one, the boundaries are being erased. Cinema is one language, that's the experience, that's the emotion, which uh, he somewhere cracked it in India uh, uh, until today. And uh, Indian audience have been uh, enjoying his emotion universally. And now even the West understands that it's not coming from a small state in India, but it's just the movie that has been produced and made in that small state. I think that was that should be the focus, you know. That, uh, yeah, I don't think we want to look up. Uh, I mean, we want to be addressed like a person coming from a small state and everything. But cinema is bigger than all of us, and I'm really proud that we're all part of this journey. And it began with SSR's uh, RRR. Yes. I like what he said. You know, cinema has one universal language. I yeah. I really agree to what he said, totally. That's the deep water we're talking about. <laughs> you know, it's, it's no secret you're sitting down here with the awards editor of Variety. Yes, this is yes. It. This is in the Oscar conversation. India didn't select it as its official submission. No shade to Last Film Show. It's actually a very good movie. Correct. But everyone in the punditry world says you had a guaranteed win. Mm -hmm. if you just chose RRR. Can you talk about, maybe we're not aware about the politics about India choosing a Tollywood movie that's in Telugu versus uh, other films that are typically in Hindi. Because I believe that, uh, by uh, history, they traditionally pick something that's in Hindi and not... Which, I mean, obviously, the last film show is not. Not, Netflix, not recently, yeah. no, dubbed. because they chose Jolly Taku. Which I've never well, seen Well, he just before. mentioned it's dubbed in Hindi. English language film yeah. dubbed in another non-English language. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Been, uh, interesting Thanks for bringing that up. Well, a country with 1.4 billion people, population, I wouldn't say there's a lot of politics going on with choosing what films need to go, but I think, I think the panel which is sitting down there knows what they do the best. So I'm not gonna get down that road of talking about why RRR was not chosen as its official movie from the country. We'll talk about Hindi. I think you know Hindi has primarily been a national language for a very long time. So and that's why you know it's 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 been I think Hindi has has taken its prominence through that. <clears throat> but for us, or for me at least, I would say that choose RRR, don't choose RRR. RRR has already made us proud. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Tarek is being really humble and nice, but I really want these two awards. <laughs> <laughs> but at the same time, like he said, all of us talking about it, Clayton, you sitting here and even mentioning it yeah. about it, it itself uh, is it's quite satisfying for us and we're really grateful to the audience here and you. So rest, everything is a feather on the head. So I'm going to see if that feather falls on our hat or not. That's Let's awesome. wait for another day. I did not want to jinx it. Juju, one interesting thing that uh, we learned, how big the both of you are in India. I've had people describe uh, you as the rock and Vin Diesel. But, like, but, oh, right. but yeah. Times a dance. billion. Like, yeah, fantastic That's That's what has been the conversation about the That's insulting to them. Yeah. To no, they are not. And making a big splash. Why not? Here. Why not? You know, wow. we're, we're actors, Clayton. Bring it on, I would say. Bring it on, you know. Yeah, bring it on. I would love to explore this. I would love to. And what I kind love... of movie would you love to do? Like you said, drop in Vin Diesel. Vin Diesel yeah. yeah, to begin with. <laughs> we'll do a fast and furious for you. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. That would be great. But I mean, yes, you know, as actors, I think we have to be open to, yeah. to, to, to accept what's given to us. 
And uh, yeah, you know, we're, we're very open to I'm actually uh, eager, uh, eager to I'm actually be a part of some uh, have your directors experience us as well on the sets. Absolutely, and I think, uh, we will do a great job. Absolutely, uh, so yeah. Steven Spielberg is watching. He feel Ron Charon would make a great bond, by the way. <laughs> yes, he would. <laughs> uh, I have some fun questions for you, but yeah, before sure. uh, that happens, I, I brought you guys something. And I thought it'd be great for us to talk with. Um, oh my God! Wow. Some jaguars. <laughs> uh, tiger. Uh, tiger was no, a third. We'll jaguars. Jaguar. 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 That's a gift for right. me to you. For, oh, thank for you so uh, much. Uh, <laughs> Uh, yeah. Don't throw it at each other, though. No, no, no. We've seen you throw no, jaguars. Throw he loves tigers and jaguars. I, I want to talk about uh, your 20 years of friendship. I want to see how well you guys know each other. And uh, what animal would you want to be if you could be any animal? Horse. Would want to be so animals. we've got to answer for each other, right? Yeah, you can answer okay, for each other. Oh, for each other. Oh, no, actually, that would be better. We yeah. can answer for each yeah. other. Yeah. Horse. Horse. I think Chad uh, would want to be a horse. Tiger. Tiger? Yeah. Is that true? Yeah. Yeah? Yep. Is a horse poop? Yes, absolutely. <laughs> I'd like to be a <laughs> sea turtle. Who would last longer in an actual fight with a tiger? No, uh, no one. Who would last a little no, bit longer? Little little longer. Really yeah. Realistically, I think both of us would run. Why would I fight a tiger? <laughs> if you were actually doing a dance battle of Natu Natu, who would win? How do you two? I mean, uh, he would have got the step, right? But uh, in terms of endurance, I would have gone. But he would have gotten... Mm. Ooh. So, so the movie is... Do it! Yeah, yeah. And, and Let's see that! <laughs> All right. Who takes longer to do their hair on the day of a shooting? Who lasts longer in bed? What? Really? Sharon. That takes a long time Sharon. to do his hair. That Not must... the makeup, the hair. You're, the hair. You're, you're very right That's on your question. Not you the know, makeup. I, and your I, hair I, bounces I, and waves. So no, I have like, a curly hair. Yeah. So it takes a little while. So to tame it, you know, it takes a little while. I think he's right there. Yeah, that's <laughs> true. Hence why he's wearing the hat. Character more on set. Who like laughed more or messed up? Charan, Tarak, Charak. Charan is this. Charan What's he saying? Boy who's Tarak. Tarak. <laughs> Must be the TNNTR. Tarak. Tarak. Okay. Never gonna be an answer where you know he he or me are gonna win. No, it also he was an it also he tells was... you that maybe I never did anything. It's it's Charm definitely the naughtiest. <laughs> what was the most fun you had on set? I think the most difficult uh, episode and also I kind of uh, weirdly had fun was the sixty five nights of uh, shooting the the interval episode of us becoming arch rivals. Mm. And then it's the intermission. So that episode, mm. weirdly, 65, 65 nights. nights, I think nobody would, any actor would hate doing that. But I weirdly enjoyed it. Like uh, like I, uh, like he told me one day, saying, uh, I am the night owl. Mm -hmm. I like shooting in the nights. And he's more of a day person. So probably I enjoyed it. That's it's, almost Helm's oh, Deep. Yeah, so I would say, I would. That's crazy. <sighs> I would say Natu Natu would definitely be something which is a good, which was a great experience. I had fun as well, but there was a lot of torture before <laughs> that. But but you know, we were in Ukraine, we would do that for everything, probably, you know, catch up, go out to a yeah. restaurant, you know, get some food. You know, we had that. We had a good yeah. family time as well. I would say Natu Natu yeah. in Ukraine was in Kiev just, just, was yeah. a fun experience. We're gonna get sentimental. Please right. tell me the best quality about the other person. What I like is he's one person, not just me. I, I know uh, hundreds of people around him would say the same. He's somebody you can really rely on at any point of the day, any uh, any time of the day, at any situation in your life. You know you can make that one call to him and he'll be there. <laughs> That's the trust he has built over the years with anybody and everybody he has ever come across in his life. This is the number one quality I admire and love. And he's a great father, he's a great husband, great actor, and more than anything, he's a great friend. One of the very, very, very few friends, you know, you have, you know, maybe you could just count on your fingers, but Chan would be definitely the first person I would want to call and share or ask for help or even rely upon. I'm hearing Dosti in the background. Do is, is definitely too. Dosti! And, and he's, he's everything a friend needs to be. And that's why the chemistry is so good. And you've he's got a friend in me. Everything a friend should be. He's everything a friend can be. And uh, yeah, you know, just, just, just this, this, he's this beautiful person who can, 
who can literally, you know, give you a shoulder and say, you know what, it's all right. You know, oh, shit happens. Oh. The bromance. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I love it. What's the scene that isn't in the movie that you were disappointed didn't make the final cut? I could have given a better close up if he was not oh, doing please. those things right here. If he did him. not irritate me, I think I would have done a, a better job on screen. Please. The final question. Listen, there's been rumors about it. RRR Part 2. Wow. What? <laughs> I thought, I thought SSR I said, thought, said, thought, said, said it on one of the, I mean, I mean, one it, of the it, stages. You know, I mean, it sounds like it's definitely happening, but I mean, listen, we don't know anything official. Things are always so secretive. We also don't, I mean, listen, it took four years to get this. I can't wait four years for <laughs> RRR 2. Just the announcement. Clayton, I'm on your side on this as well. So I have no clue as of now. My director has officially not told us. But yeah, I've been hearing it on the press, on the, one of the stages where he spoke after the screening, the Q&A. So yeah, I'm waiting for him to roll this news with us. It's been amazing <laughs> to watch this ride. It's been amazing to watch you guys. It's been ama amazing to, for, to see Americans introduced to the talent of you two and the bromance. But no, thank you for saying, guys. Thank and, you. Uh, thank you so much. We're going to be seeing a lot more of you. Thank, thank you. you so much. Thank, thank you. Please. Great interview. Thank you. Great thank interview. You. And I'm glad it's it's happening on such a prominent uh, yeah. uh, site. And it, In the entertainment industry, uh, look, that's, that's it. And you're going to be seeing a lot more of them yeah. throughout. Because obviously, once the nominations come out, then... They'll do. They're going to be doing even more interviews with oh, more yeah. prominent people, probably late night shows and yep. all that kind of stuff. Yeah, if, when the nominations come out, especially if it gets a picture nod, they're going to find a. Don't be surprised to see them with SSR on Jimmy Fallon. Uh, <laughs> you're good. Sorry, that's okay. Keep <laughs> going. Yeah. I, 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 it's the love fest is by no means over because the Oscars aren't until March and it's deserved. And I, I, I think as far as the sequel's concerned, it goes without saying anybody who knows even the slightest bit about SSR, he's only going to make it if he has a vision and a story to tell. The fact that people want it and it's a box office success and people will invest in it. I don't think that means crap to him. I'm very excited about the uh, actual theater experience of the next SS Russian Willie film. Yeah, me too. Obviously, because he obviously has the love and support of all Indians, right? But yeah. The fact that you might even see we're not we won't be the only white people maybe in the yeah <laughs> the only Americans in the theater yeah this time because <laughs> it is a phenomenon now and people know him and are excited about his next film and i really am interested to see i i anticipate it would be big in and of itself because it's srk but it won't surprise me if there will be people that go to see patan who wouldn't have seen it before simply because they loved rrr so much and in their mind all they know is oh, another big indian action film Maybe that wouldn't surprise me. He does have a big uh, following overseas and here in America as well. Oh yeah, of course. But it does. wouldn't surprise me, and that's a good thing. That Nominations going come to be... out on the twenty first. How many? What? Oscar noms twenty first. Uh, I don't remember it offhand. It's a Tuesday. Oh, so is it the twenty fourth or is it the seventeenth? No, no, I'll tell you. No, it's not until the end of the month. It's the twenty fourth. Twenty fourth. Tuesday the twenty fourth. So about a week from now. Exactly. About, In one week. About a week from now. Yep. Best picture nom RR. I hope so. That, it least. could get picture. We've said this. It could get picture. It could get director. It will get song. It will get song. Yeah. Um, and uh, hopefully. It, it could even surprise folks with the visual effects. Yeah. I'm hoping we'll also hear last film show as well. And it, Yeah, that would be. It's a deserving film. Uh, and I'm hoping there's a, that everything that breathes, I think, is a documentary from India. That we haven't seen. Oh yet, yeah, that's correct. That's also in the in the conversation. It's it was shortlisted. Yeah. Uh, unlike other things that weren't shortlisted, that people said were shortlisted. <laughs> yeah. So dumb. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, uh, very great interview. Uh, looking loved that. To a lot more. I would love to actually talk to them, but they. I know they're kind of busy right they're, now. They're a little bit in high demand right yeah. now. Yeah. Just variety is just, just slightly higher than OSR in terms of uh, priority. Well, it depends on who you talk to. Yeah, I guess. Yeah. Let us know what other videos we could act to down below.